it's going to be really yummy moist cupcakes. And you want to make sure not to over mix. Otherwise, you'll get bread instead of cupcakes. It'll be really too tough and dry. That's it. See that? Just enough to have it incorporated. Perfect. This is like the perfect batter. There are no lumps, and even if there are a couple little lumps, it's just fine. The one thing you don't want to do is ever, it's over mix whenever you're making any kind of cake batter, unless it's bread. Because bread, you do over mix it. So, make sure your oven's preheated to 350, guys. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to go anywhere <laughs> until it's done. Okay, now this is going to make 12 cupcakes, and I'm going to use my handy dandy ice cream scooper to fill them up because it fills them up perfectly every time. Look at that. I'm just going to do the remaining cupcakes. I fill my cupcake liners with my batter and now I'm going to pop these in the preheated 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Just in about 20 minutes, take a, take a toothpick, insert it in the middle. If it comes out clean, it's done. And you want to make sure not to overfill these. You want to fill them about three quarters of the way, you know, full, and then they'll rise just a little and be perfectly even with the cupcake liners. Remember, these are cupcakes, not muffins. So pop these in and then let them cool before we start with our buttercream, with our raspberry buttercream frosting. Now my cupcakes came out of the oven. They baked for 20 minutes exactly. And now I've let them cool for about 45 minutes because I don't want them to be remotely warm when I put the buttercream frosting on it, otherwise it will melt. Okay, for the frosting, what we're going to need is one stick of room temperature unsalted butter. Put this right into my little mixing bowl. And then I'm going to put in one pound box of confectioner sugar. Okie doke. Now everything's going to get mixed together, so it doesn't matter what you put in first or any of that. Now I love buttercream frosting on my cupcakes. But I wanted to do something a little bit different, and this is so good. Oh my goodness. And then wait till you see how beautiful they look when they're done. So I'm going to put in about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And let me grab a spoon, a pinch of salt before I forget. Remember, always put a little salt into anything you're making, even if it's sweet. And then we're going to put in about a half cup of raspberry preserves. I like to use one with a little seeds in it because it looks so beautiful on the cupcakes. So let's add that. I have all my ingredients in my mixer. So now I'm going to just all in low, otherwise a powder sugar all over your face. So start on low until everything is like getting to be mixed up and then switch to sweet, speed up to medium. Now what I have here is a disposable piping bag. I love using these because if you've ever used real piping bags, they smell awful if you use them for the first couple times because you get to clean them and stuff, and they're kind of a pain to clean. So disposable ones, cheap, and I love them. And I have a beautiful star tip, just like a beautiful big star tip, and I'm going to pipe the frosting on the top just because it's going to look beautiful. And I have some fresh raspberry to doll it up with. I'm just going to put, you see how beautiful these cupcakes came out? Look at that. They're perfect. And don't you love my cupcake flyers? Can you tell my favorite color is pink? Alright, I'm going to put a few of these on here. Got my cupcakes lined up. Frosting. Done. Oh, look at that consistency. That's going to be like piping heaven consistency. Oh, come on. Look at that. I can't wait to eat one of these. So good. Okay. Let me just get that stirred. Just give it a nice little mix. Look at the color. Ah. Oh. Just gonna put some of this in here. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes so good. Okay. Practice test. Beautiful. Now. You can do this however you want. I just like to go around and just build it around the edge and work your way in. Just like so. I'm just going to continue to do these and then we're going to top them 
got fresh raspberries, and then I'm, you can bet that I'm going to eat one right away. And this last one for now. Look how beautiful. Now I'm going to take my lovely little raspberries. I mean, come on. Wouldn't someone think you went to a fancy bakery and got these? Only if they knew. So easy to make. And they look beautiful. Just going to finish dolling these up. My mouth is watering to have one. Here we go. Now you saw how easy this was. And you have to promise me that you go in your kitchen and you make one. Because... Why wouldn't you want to? Look how beautiful they are, and they're so good. And you know, I can't resist. I'm going in for one. Look at the moistness. Look how moist. If I get anything on my face, please don't laugh. Mm. Mm. The buttercream, the best buttercream you'll ever have. The cake is moist. Mmm. I'm Laura Vitale. Go to my website at www.laurainthekitchen.com to get this exact recipe with all the ingredients and the measuring and all that and get in your kitchen and make these right away because they are so divine. I'll see you next time. Bye!